Hey guys, I want to do a video today about what our summer plans are and uh, just any things that we're doing, what we're changing up for the summer, and if we are taking any summer off, so stay tuned for that. coming up. I am going to do two more weeks of school. Today is Monday um, and it's the 21st and we're going to do this week and next week and end on June 1st. We all need a break and um, we're going to be pretty busy during the summer so I don't want to add too much stuff. We're still going to do school work during the summer but I don't, it's not going to be like it is during the school year. It's going to be really relaxed. More Charlotte Mason. And uh, we have so much things spread out throughout the summer. So it's going to be kind of hard. We're going to throw it in, you know, a little bit of schoolwork here and there as, uh, you know, if it's too hot outside and we don't have anything to do. And uh, I don't want them to fight me on it. I just want them to enjoy it. And uh, another thing I wanted to say, yeah, because uh, our summer plans. I'm trying to think. We have some field trips planned. We are going camping sometime in June. We're going to go to D.C. Me and Mackenzie and Miat are going to D.C. for the weekend in June for Girl Scouts. And horse camp is right when we get back from D.C. Mackenzie's going to try to do art camp, which is down the road and another couple of other camping trips throughout there. So, we're kind of packed for the summer. So, uh, there are like a couple weeks that we don't have anything planned, which I'm sure will get filled up as time, as it gets closer. So, I hate to uh, make definite plans for doing school, but hopefully we'll have some time to do at least, I mean, I know I'm gonna do read alouds because we do read alouds for bedtime and I want to do it in the mornings. I want to continue that. So we'll do our morning baskets. I just won't, ha won't have them doing um, schoolwork, like history, story of the world, and stuff like that. We you know we might keep math a little bit going, just do shorter and do maybe do sections, like one or two sections a day. Mian is doing the Horizons math, and so she'd really be the only one doing math because Mackenzie is almost done with her Matthew C for the year. So, uh, Miat, I really don't want her to fall back. She's had a very relaxed math year, so she really doesn't need a big break from math because I didn't ask a lot of her for math. She did math lessons for a living education, which was a li little too easy for her, but she needed that break, and I gave it to her. I didn't push her very much in math at all. <coughs> My husband keeps walking in on me. <laughs> so, what was I saying? Uh, Miat has had an easy math year. I'm not going to ask too much. I didn't ask much for her. So, we're going to continue with math for her so she doesn't lose her momentum. She, we have switched to Horizons back where we started when we started, what, two years ago. So, I just pulled that out. And we're going to work on that until the new school year starts. And, um, yeah, and, you, and then you'll see what kind of... Um, curriculum I'm going to pick for next year when I do a curriculum thing. And what else am I going to do? Um, let's do language arts. Miat is doing Good and the Beautiful. So I, we just started that like two, two weeks ago. And I love it. She's not a fan because she's just not a fan of language arts. And I'm hoping as we get along, we're only on like lesson seven. And I'm hoping as we go along with it, she comes to love it as much as I love it because it's really what she needs and she doesn't like separating her sounds. She's like, oh, that's babyish, but then yet she gets the words wrong and I'm like, see, you need to separate the sounds. So, uh, she liked today's. Today's lesson was she looked at the piece of um, artwork and made a story out of it and, you know, named the characters and the setting. So she liked that, but she doesn't like separating the sounds out and the dictation. She hates the dictation. <laughs> And Kenzie is doing all about reading. She is like flying. She's good. 
She is sounding words out. She's having a hard time. She actually had a hard time today. Q and X. Just because she talks kind of differently and she can't make those sounds as well as she, I thought she could. Ah, uh, my husband's cutting grass, so you probably hear the grass. Let me in the lawnmower. And I'm trying to move for him. I don't know where he's at. Anyway, so she's doing that. I we might take a break from that and just let her read Bob books and um just we have a bunch of phonic readers. So we might just let her do I might just let her do that and that's gonna be the reading until we pick that back up for the school year. But she's liking all of our reading, which is amazing. Which is cool because I have it. And I didn't feel like buying a new curriculum for her. And then Marley is going along with her thing, doing her worksheets, singing her songs, learning her ABCs and one two threes. And I'm not pushing her too hard on that. And then Story of the World will stop that for the summer. We're going to be doing American history. We've been doing American history for the past uh, two weeks. Started with the Ice Age and the people coming over and the land bridge. And then we're just going through each uh, Native American, First American uh, region and studying them. And we're making a lap book. On Friday, we're going to a uh, reservation and watching a, um, I guess it's a dance. I'm not quite sure what it is that we're watching, but it looks really cool. So we're going to do that. So we've been doing our Amer uh, First American lap book and learning about the different tribes and the different regions and all that fun stuff. And then we've been reading Pocahontas. Where is this? As I read aloud, Double Life of Pocahontas. They're, they're liking that, I guess. It's got a map. We live right here. We live pretty close to Jamestown. And, I mean, sting where John Smith got stung by a stingray, stingray point. I mean, we live right down in Lancaster County. So, uh, yeah. Mm. So it's really cool seeing the map. And I'm like, this is where we live. This is where Pelican's tribe was. And this is where the Jamestown was. And we're going to... We can go visit Jamestown. We're going to go do that this summer to go in with our learnings and all that fun stuff. What else? Um, history. Yeah, we stopped the Middle Ages while we're doing American history. So we are doing American history throughout the summer, and then we'll sprinkle in our Middle Ages maybe once a week and do American history once a week. <laughs> Finally. I really love history, so the more history I can do, I love it. And and yeah, that's about it. So we'll do nature study throughout the summer. We'll do nature study throughout the summer too, of course. And we're gonna, we're making our way through this um, backyard nature workbook. And um, let me turn the camera around so you can see it. So this is that, and it's just backyard animals and what you would see and it's just a coloring page and I copy it and let each girl color their own page and I put it in their uh, binder. So that's what we're going to do continue doing throughout the summer every once in a while thrown in there and that's about it yeah that's all we're going to do besides some drawing and art because I have been neglecting on my drawing and art yeah I have not been doing good and really Kenzie loves art and I I'm going to buy an art curriculum for next year because she wants to do art and I just, I'm not, I never took an art class in school. I just always was taken out of art class to do uh, work on my testing because I wasn't a good test taker. So I was always working on how to take a SOL testing um, skill classes and stuff from fourth grade up. So, yeah. So I knew nothing about art. So, yeah. So if you have any suggestions on art curriculums, I really appreciate it. Don't turn this draft, girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, you say bye. Bye. Say bye.